Hello and welcome to Shadow of Judgment. Hello everyone, how are you? I'm looking just like I could hug you, I guess. I don't know, we got water and air left, y'all. Also, go look at the fire signs video. There are four cards that come out, and I feel like that's kind of important to tell everybody. You can just check that part out. You don't have to watch the rest of it. But it's in there. So who are we reading for? Between no, that's our water or air. Water or air. There it is! Knight of Swords Reverse. You guys get that quite a bit. Well, I think that's only the second time you've gotten that card for it. Anyway, let's see what's going on, everybody. Gemini, you're up first. Air signs. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 6th to September 13th. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, for it is just a card game. Thank you kindly in advance for watching as well. I will greatly appreciate it. If you want a personal reading, my email is down in the description box below, as well as my Facebook and Instagram if you want to use those instead. First readings on the house, everything else comes with the price, of course, and I too take tips and donations. Gemini, we got Page of Cups right here. We've got someone sneaking. What? Someone trying to sneak to get that, ace of, that, that page of cups going? What are you all up to, Gemini? <coughs> huh. So someone's kind of like trying to sneak. Over here, we're not going to actually make an offer to make an offer as a page. They're not going to offer money, they're going to offer their heart. And that shit's not going to work. <laughs> Whoa, damn. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo so far. This shit isn't going to work out. This isn't going to change anything. Seems like. And this person who's withholding whatever it is they have is at a crossroads at this point so far. Right? Like... I don't know how that's Pisces, but someone says it could be Pisces, because I guess it's just, he's all comfortable and shit, hanging out and such, you know? Anyway, Gemini, we got the Empress, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Venetian energy, right? Ten of Pentacles, lack of closure. Ooh, this person who doesn't offer anything is at a crossroads, and right now it's not a good idea, it's not just to not... It's very unjust to withhold an offer, I feel like, or to not deliver it. Yeah. They're gonna cry over spilled milk. Should I? Yep. Yeah. Mmm. This person should have offered the cup to begin with. Like, I guess they thought, like, not really delivering the goods and just offering their heart would have been a good idea, Gemini. Mind you, cross watchers, switch where you need to, you know? But, um. Yeah, it's like, a um, this person didn't offer anything financially, I feel like, and they tried to offer a very little, which, you know, when you're a page offering a cup of fish, it's not the same as a cup of wine. Like, women know the difference, and that shit didn't work with the emperors. Now she's just sitting here being like, you know what? I'm not even thirsty anymore. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just go somewhere and do something. And then, oh, they were all sad and shit, right? Now, they didn't make an offer here, or they didn't deliver something of value. And they were at a crossroads for them, and unfortunately, that was the wrong judgment call right here. It was not the most... It was a kind of an injustice, if you will. Because <clears throat> that cup really should have been offered, but some other cup will probably come in as well, Gemini, if you're filling in this Five of Cups energy, too. That cup is still my come. Um, but I hope it doesn't make another third party, since this is the third cup, you know. Um, <clears throat> now, someone's doing some sneaky shit, and that doesn't change anything. It still leaves this dynamic where, like, something is incomplete. There's no closure somewhere, right? So, take that a little bit into consideration. Oh, it's wrong deck. Take that into consideration, right? So, let's see. Why isn't this knight offering anything? We'll go with that. 
curiosity, right? Hmm. Well, no, well, yeah, I got to because I already asked the question. Okay. Yeah, that, that, just so you know, if you ask, like, the universe a question, don't change it right before they give you an answer. It's kind of rude, you know. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles. They're mad about a Queen of Pentacles or they're not delivering something to a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This could be you, Gemini, or this could be somebody else. Solitary. Keeps to herself. She keeps her money that way, and it's just like, nah. I'm good. She might have a judgment call. She might want to resurrect things. Or not. Um, they have the wrong idea about commitment, maybe. And it's going to end things. Or Taurus could end it. Okay, I hope someone's not going to try to get married in order to end some bullshit. That'd be terrible. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. That's your shadow, Gemini. It's a weird one, though, but we'll go with it. Weird is always good. Alright, Libra, it's your turn. Let's see what's up for your shadow. Right? Ooh, you come back here. Crazy. We're not. Okay, there it goes. All right. Oh, okay. Libra, let's see what's going on with your shadow this week, right? Right. Use God. Some travelings. Page one, Leo, Aries. Sagittarius. And someone is taking a leap of faith. So someone could be one to travel with good news, but someone's not taking a leap of faith in this, I guess. Ooh. Uh, possibly dealing with a uh, religion, commitment, marriage. Someone who is um kind of the authority figure in that. Maybe like head of the household or some shit. Some like Taurus shit, right? Like someone's a little bit insecure about what they want to say. First, she doesn't want to take a leap of faith. We'll come back and argue some bullshit. Um, this, okay, so the dude who is like the Hierophant might be the devil. Or you're dealing with a Capricorn or something. That's two court cards. Um, technically three, but that's two all, both on top of each other, Libra. And they mimic each other, you know, as above, so below bullshit, right? That's kind of, um... Kind of troublesome, man. I think I'm gonna clean this table off for my kitties. I don't think that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay, this person's at a crossroads over here. The one who's like a bit insecure. Maybe they want to say good news about their insecurities, but it's like, um, okay. This person wants to fight for their happiness. Could be a Leo involved in this, y'all. And someone. Might be playing head games and making everybody walk away like, ah, oh, damn, they got me again. Victory on this side. And tentative feelings being offered on this side. Libra. Let us see. Hmm. So does you want to travel good news, but he's pretty insecure about the crossroads he's at, even though there's, like, a guarantee of victory, right? Mind you, cross watch or switch where you need to. I can't remember if I said that or not, but I'm doing it now, just in case. You know? Now, this Hierophant person, the guy who's kind of in the lead with shit, you know, like, he's like he's the one in charge, he's got the crown on his head, he speaks to God, he's got his fingers up like, there are still things you still do not know, you know? Like, that's his role. He He's kind of like the medium if he isn't like you know the, if it isn't the high priestess it's him and he gets messages and delivers those messages so things can be executed the way they're meant to be the moral way right well morality is subjective and subjectively he's the devil or there's some marriage you're having with like some devil some capricorn maybe or there's some connection that you think is like um not good right and it's almost like it's the energy of um, driving somebody away, having to play mind games and win that battle. 
probably what led to this victory right here. Or maybe you're just trying to push somebody away. In order for you to get a new cup to you. Because you're not taking a leap of faith anywhere else. But you are charging in for a battle. Because you definitely are um, wanting your happiness. Possibly to the point of going to make an offer. Um, you might be um, the dude trying to play head games with someone who wants to get away. Not like not even, like you want to be a winner. But it's or somebody. It, it's either you, Libra, or it's somebody else. Whichever or, but the person who's doing the games is like they're offering their cup, and the person who walked away after like they lost the games became a victor. With people like celebrating. So it's whoever you resonate with, really. Same with you, of course, Cross Watchers. Oh, what should we look at? I, I want to know about this Hierophant Devil guy, because I think they're both, like, together for a reason. They both got their hands up the exact same way. They're both postured the exact same way. Like, the only difference between these two cards, right, is, um... You only see this guy. You don't see what these people actually look like. But then underneath the skin of it all, you can see that they're like chained and bound and the devil resides over them just being like, Hi guys! It's poker night! And uh, you're going to get some poker tonight! You know? Like, just all creepy and shit like, right? So what's up with him, I wonder? Likes to look good. Queen of Wands. Could be Leo Sage Aries. The female of the two, possibly. She wants to look good, but there's a closed door as well. So now someone's like snooping. It could be you, Libra. Like a hungry wolf. Or a Duran Duran song. However you want to do it. Oh, what was that song about the kid with the French horn? It's like... Like he had a French horn or some shit. I can't remember what that story was about, but he went through the woods. It was snowing. I think there was fall. I almost want to say Peter and the Wolf, but I don't know if that's the actual song. But I remember that. I kind of remember it, the song, and I remember this kind of the story. Like this wolf is stalking this kid. I don't think the kid died, but it was a very interesting story, and I that just popped in my head. Like I don't know. I don't know, Libra. Like, that was a cute memory, though. I really appreciate that, guys. But I don't know what that has to do with this story. But, uh... <clears throat> we will go with it. Now, uh, what it looks like right here... Like, with this uh, guy, right? It's like... It's like she's looking at this closed door, and now she's just like, What are they doing? And then there's this offer that's getting on a boat and getting. Right? Pull one more for you. Because I'm definitely curious. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Zombies in the feelings about it, too. All of them that are facing this way, with the exception of the knight right here, they're all kind of like... Or this person saw the closed door, and then they were just like, ah, oh, 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 look, I got some cash, I got some money, and the person was like, you know what, I, I, I got some peace of mind leaving this motherfucker. So now, this person's almost like... Give me back my money then, bitch. But they never gave you the money because you got on the boat. That's yours, Libra. Aquarius, you're up next for your shadow. Libra, I feel like someone's going to stalk you for no reason. Or for some reason, even though they know. It's almost like um that period blood spell that everybody talks about, right? Which is like, you know... It's, it's an interesting concept, except everybody kind of gets it wrong, you know, um, you're not using, like, when you use, like, tag locks, right, hair, nails, someone's, like, actual hand signature, tricking them into, or, well, not really tricking, just getting permission to have their signature, you know, shit like that, right? Um, when you get tag locked, because that's what the fuck they are, they're literally personal items, hair is a personal item, so is blood, and, um, if you put blood, particularly of the, um, feminine variety, right? Yeah, you get that person under the spell 
But now you're actually bound to them. You're bound to them like a weapon on World of Warcraft. You're the only one who's able to fucking use the bitch. Right? That's how that goes. Like... That shit could last up to five years too if you're not careful. Like when and if you're not and if you're using your personal shit or something like, and you're not having a, like I don't know, man. It's just what is it? I'm gonna talk about tag locks because I feel like they're really fucking important to talk about, and I feel like the way I use them kind of makes sense, but it's everybody else. I don't know. It's just it's just me. I'm weird. Anyway, we're going to you, Aquarius. I'm just saying, please don't do shit like that, because, like, you're bound for a good amount of time, and the more you use it, the longer it lasts. And you don't want to be bound like that, because that's something, that's a covenant you can't break. Alright, Aquarius, your week's got you trying to let your guard down, but you're still looking at a motherfucker like you should be paranoid, right? Because all you want to do is have a break, you want to let your guard down, relax, chill like the music in the background... Hoping to get an offer while you're on that break, too. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe? Ooh. Yeah, you want to let your guard down and be able to move to calmer waters? Yeah, there's the King of Pentacles. You want to... Yeah, you're hoping for some good shit. Look at you. Trying to come out of that cold situation. Trying to get back up. Oh, oh, oh. What is this sneaky shit right here, though? Hmm. Boop. This one fell on its own, so... Boop. Okay, Aquarius, are you doing the escape thing again? Are you trying to sneak away without anybody knowing that you're going to do that? Because it's like, you want a break? You want to be able to make some money for yourself? Be comfortable and shit? Only worry about that? And you're willing to do some work with some people to make that happen? Like, these, like, you might even be having people come up to you for their crafts and then be like, can you make this? Um, it's for, uh, whatever. And you're just like, yeah, I can make that. Just give me, like, a few days or some shit, man. Right? That's what's going on on this side right here. You're trying to make shit work. Over here, though, you are, um, you got, you're trying to let your guard down, but you're still kind of paranoid because you do kind of, it feels like you're really trying to escape some shit. You don't even care if there's a lack of closure here. Like, you're just in the mood, be like, please don't turn around and notice me, Miss Empress. That's I'm not even that important. Um, kind of waiting for an offer in order to get you out of the cold, so you can kind of be that Empress. And, and, like, the dude's looking at it like, that's what I'm going to do. I just need to get the fuck away from over here, it feels like, a little bit. What's up with this Ten of Pentacles, actually? Someone once made a wish, and now they wish they hadn't made it. Because it's, it's like, ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, the tower came out, and someone opened their eyes, finally. Realizing they do need to make a choice. Something happened, guys. Or something's gonna happen. That's going to just, like, rock your world and wake you up and be like, I can't be here anymore. This, that's why you guys are trying to escape. You guys have been trying to escape from somebody for a fucking while, honestly. And I'll pull one more for you because you're my moon sign anyway. So, fuck it. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, this lover situation is just not an option for you anymore. It's shitty. Every, it's like everything you've tried to do is not worked out or whatever. I feel like you're choosing the rest of the world right here and yourself after this tower comes down where it's just like, Jesus Christ, is this enough? When is it enough? But that's what I got for y'all air signs, right? Remember, this is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you very much for watching my video. Um, if you want to like, share, subscribe, you go right ahead. I would greatly appreciate it, but it's no pressure. It's all up to you, really. But I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.